Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris and in this video I'm going to talk about PyQt graph. So also we're going to create a simple example in PyQt graph. So we are starting our main topic about PyQt graph. Uh, you can check my blog and you can get uh, uh, series tutorials and uh, uh, my videos uh, also in this blog. And uh, you can see I have a lot of source code for different uh, video tutorials, yeah, you can check machine learning, Android, and also Python tutorials uh, uh, like this. And uh, okay, now, uh, okay, guys, now before I uh, start encoding, uh, first let me uh, uh, tell about PyQt graph. So, uh, PyQt graph is a graphical, uh, uh, is a graphics and user interface library for Python that provides functionality commonly required in engineering and science applications. So uh, there are two primary goals for PyQt graph. The first one is to provide fast interactive graphics for displaying data uh, like plots, uh, videos, and etc. And the second one is to provide tools to aid uh, in rapid application development. For example, property trees such as using Qt Designer. And uh, PyQt Graph makes heavy use of the Qt GUI platform. So uh, when you are using PyQt Graph, you need PyQt or PySide. Okay, now uh, uh, also you need to install uh, PyQt Graph. For this, for the installation, you can write pip and install PyQt uh, Graph, and after that hit enter. Uh, now I'm waiting for the installation. Uh, So guys, now you can see the installation completed, and now uh, I'm waiting for uh, the installation of PyQt Graph. So the download has been completed. It is about 1.6 MB. So now it is uh, installing for PyQt Graph. And now the installation done. Okay, now successfully installed PyQt uh, Graph, uh, this is the version. Now after installation, and uh, you need to wait uh, for your PyCharm for your PyCharm ID because you can see that now it's scanning files and now it's index indexing. And after the indexing indexing completed, uh, because when you install a new library or package in PyCharm, uh, you need to wait for the indexing of PyCharm ID. So guys, the indexing has been completed. Uh, now the first thing we need, uh, we are going to import, so you need to import sys. And after that, you need to, uh, from pyqt5.qt widgets, import Q application. So if you are not familiar with PyQt5, I have a lot of videos on PyQt5. You can check the link to the video description, a complete video series on PyQt5. Uh, it's more than uh, 70 videos on that. And after that, we are going to import PyQt graph. So as PG. PG. Okay. I'm going to plot a simple line of uh, uh, in uh, PyQt graph. So let me write app first. Let me create Q application. Ses dot argv. And now you can pg dot plot. And uh, in here you need to uh, write your x. So I want to get zero, one, two, and four. And for the Y, I have uh, four, five, nine, six. And after that, let me create a status and app dot execute. Also, we need to now sys dot exit and add your status in here. Okay. So now let me run this, and this is a simple code. 
for our PyQt graph. So now I am waiting. <coughs> Okay, now you can see that this is our uh, line uh, in PyQt graph, and now you can see you can uh, move this line and you can make it bigger, full screen like this, and these are the line uh, positions that we have given, like this x and y position. So thank you guys. Uh, this was a simple explanation on PyQt graph. If you, if you have any question, please let me know. I will add the source code and more information about PyQt graph in my website and my blog. You can check that. Subscribe my channel and also like the videos.